Alright, what's going on everyone? So today, really, I'm going to be talking about <laughs> something that's long overdue. Obviously, this is a brand I haven't talked about yet, Anti-Social Club. You guys have seen me talk about Supreme Bape and Palace on this channel and other brands before, but really, this one I haven't talked about. And really, I'm excited to get into it. I don't really have too many positive thoughts, though, so let's get straight into it. And by the way, if you guys wouldn't mind, just for a second, please hit the subscribe button if you guys do like these videos. You know, I do mainly Supreme Bape and Palace on my channel. I do a lot of talk videos. I do Bape Dropless videos, Palace Dropless videos, Supreme Dropless videos, and also, I have a giveaway coming up for some Supreme stickers. I have eight more of these coming in, so I'll have nine total. I'll be giving them away. So basically, all you have to do to, is to enter is subscribe. I'd highly appreciate it. But anyways, enough talk. Let's get into the video. Now, really, my first thoughts about Anti Social Club. The prices are okay. Obviously, the tea prices are way overpriced for the quality, and the hoodies are a decent price. You know, eighty-seven dollars usually. So really, when you look at that, it's okay. But my one issue with them, first off, is shipping. Obviously, they take forever to ship items. I've never gotten an Anti Social Club item, but I've heard it can sometimes take weeks and up to a month to receive some items, which is completely ridiculous for a company that's supposedly running a uh, good business. So really, when you think about it, they're lacking on that part. Their shipping is very bad. Um, obviously, their items are low quality. What I mean by this, I'll get into it, really. Their uh, hoodies are basically screen pr screen printed Gildan, along with their t-shirts. None of them are really good. They're, it's just screen printed stuff, and it's low quality. Obviously, the you notice the stuff that's screen printed on there chips super easily. The drops are unoriginal. It's usually just the same thing. So really, when you look at uh, Anti Social Club, they're lacking in that sense their items are low quality screen printed gildan and the prices aren't really considerably good i'd say like the tees are prices are more expensive than supreme tees which makes no sense considering their quality isn't anywhere near that even the supreme lacks in quality sometimes their tees shouldn't be even near that they should be like 30 something dollars maybe even below that and the hoodies 87 dollars that's fine really but your hoodies are going to chip but then maybe if you wear them a few times you'll start get, seeing cracks and stuff so really when you look at it it's ridiculous they take forever to ship items and their items are very low quality for their prices and and really a little bit more considering that their items are just screen printed gildan that's really what it is if you look closely it's just the same thing nothing special hoodies range from 87 to 100 dollars and they're shipping slow so indie social club really isn't worth buying like considering that you're paying overpriced amounts for a gildan hoodie that just has their name on it and then obviously the shipping takes two weeks to a month sometimes it's just ridiculous obviously yes they are a chinese company they have to ship from china i understand that that can take a couple weeks that's reasonable but when you start getting into the months it really gets ridiculous for shipping so they need to consider possibly a uh, I guess speeding up their shipping that would really make sense if you think about it So they're lacking in that sense where they're not having good enough shipping for the customers Obviously, they have zero service. Uh, obviously you, you try to find customer service non-existent It's pretty much as bad as Supreme's customer service Obviously people roast Supreme about customer service being terrible all the time But anti search club doesn't even have one So just taking that count that it's pretty weak there and really also when you look at it their hats are just as much as their uh, Shirts like if you look at their tees and hats, they're the same price 50 American dollars um, And that really upsets me considering that you could just just buy a hat for the same price it's considering the hat should be more or less like $30 it's embroidered yes but it's very low quality like supreme I think they make okay hats but and obviously they mark them up pretty high I complain about hat, pr hat prices for them but $50 for an anti-social club hat is ridiculous it's not even reasonable considering that it's all made in China and obviously items in China can sometimes be made high quality but I'm considering that anti-social club doesn't make high quality items obviously they sound like they just really break apart in a couple weeks and they wouldn't last long especially the hoodies it's just screen print if you wear them that out a few times obviously start to undes and all that it may start to crack you may see that really easily considering that their items just don't last long so that upsets me really the shipping slow um their items don't last long and really the unoriginality of it just being screen printed gildan and having unreasonably high prices considering that i guess they could have high prices because they're a hype beast company but they're starting to lose that considering that people are like hey i'm starting to notice that this is just screen printed gildan and there's nothing really special about it okay so uh i may have rambled on a bit there obviously i did introduce everything i really knew about it everything is ridiculous it was sort of, I guess, a roast, but it's really more or less an opinion. I think their company is lacking. I think they're ridiculous. I think they're a sad excuse for a hype beast company. That's really what I have to say. So it wasn't like a roast video, even though it really may have sounded like that, which I guess I could call it that, but obviously that's probably not what it was titled. I don't intend to roast anyone that likes the company. I'm just telling everyone that really the company's low quality and they don't really deserve to be a hype beast brand. So that's what this video was on. Sorry if I offended anyone. Obviously, you know, it was an opinion, so you came here to hear what I had to say. So I apologize for that. But anyways, thank you all for watching. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. I highly appreciate it. Be sure you guys subscribe for the sticker giveaway I'm coming soon. I have a bunch of stickers coming in. I'm giving away. Subscribe for that. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, new, subscribe. All that basic stuff. You guys know I do Supreme, Bape and Palace, dropless videos and all these companies, pickups from all these companies. Hopefully understandable. So anyways, thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see y'all as a new subscriber in my next video.